All right, boys, what they don't know, this is take 17. Yeah, take 17. <laughs> Hopefully not 18. You know what else they don't know is where we're at. Where we're at. Where are we at? Where Mike? are we? Where are we? Right I done forgot twice, and this is the third time we recorded the intro. North Augusta, <laughs> South North Carolina. North Augusta. Yep. In South Carolina. No, wait Which a is minute. confusing, because there's confusing. an Augusta, Georgia. Georgia but which then, is right there. Yeah, you can see but it. But we're there. in North Augusta, Augusta in South, South Carolina. Carolina. Uh, that's where we're at, man. Did you guys feel like, was a geography class down here? Yeah, the river here? changed before. The river changed. Yeah. Yeah. Like to like make my, it complicated. I mean, at my house, I can drive east and get back, or drive west to get back in the eastern time zone. Hey, you can we'll see, see the there other time zone. I can't see the other time zone. It just takes an hour to get there. Hey, you know, but I can't predict the future. Yeah. Just don't work that way. Yeah, unfortunately. You can see it coming. You have hours. We're gonna it address this red can that I got that everybody's gonna have questions about. Yeah, I'm I reckon. a little worried about that. That's gonna keep you up all night. I bought there, Pepsi's for you, man. Oh yeah, that says Coca Cola. Yeah, well that's because you got on it sale. Out of wrong. You got it wrong. <laughs> 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 right. The Pepsi's are in my truck because I put your Dirt Perfect sticker on the cooler. Have you priced those things lately? They're expensive. Yeah, now. I had a guy uh, come down and bring me Canadian Pepsi's. And they taste different. Yeah. I don't want to hurt his feelings, but I like my American Pepsis. Yeah. It's got all that the sugar. refined sugar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want the, the real, the yeah. real deal. Uh, the real sugar. Yeah, the bad sugar. Don't let's they, not look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I don't like about the Canadian Pepsis is they put the bad stuff in really big print on the back, uh, yeah. so you're forced to read it. So here in America, we keep it small. Yeah, we keep, keep it, it hidden. small. And half the people need glasses. This is well. I'll go down and get your Pepsi out of the cooler, out of the back of my truck. All right. In a minute. You're the best. Uh, you're <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are in, uh, was it North? I don't forgot. North, North Augusta. North Augusta. North Augusta. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's been a long Get with the program. <laughs> I do know. Don't, don't let him order delivery. No, we'll no. I do know. Just, It'll yeah. go to actual Augusta. <laughs> 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 do, you, do you play golf around here or something? Uh, I think they do have a little golf course. A little golf course? Yeah, right across the river. Like some they, little Augusta competition. Augusta National, yeah, something like something that. Yeah. that. Yeah. Is that North or South Augusta? So that's... In regular Augusta. Regular Augusta. Regular Augusta. Regular Augusta. Whole new Augusta. Regular regular Augusta. Augusta. Middle. Middle. The OG. Yeah. <laughs> so do we have east and west, or is it just? Nope, it's just uh, north and regular. <laughs> just north accept it, man. Don't question regular. it. It's a lot easier regular. if you just accept it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, get everybody introduced around here. We got Mr. Ryan Williams. Yep. Which is Mr. 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 Dig yep. on, YouTube. on YouTube. So we're down here visiting him. Got a new co-host this time I, around. I've just. Always seem to be in the right spot at the right time. Mr. Big Deal. Mr. Big Deal 18. Mr. Mr. Big Deal 18. Mr. Big Deal 18 even brings friends. Yeah, I do. It's Kyle. Just, somebody has to hold the camera. So <laughs> yeah. Hey, just, every good YouTuber needs a good cameraman. Exactly. Unfortunately, I left mine at home. I couldn't fit him in the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> See, I film everything by myself during the during the week, but when you know it was a trip, you know, it, it, it's, it's a good reason to have somebody. So does come your on. cameraman do the same thing my cameraman do and purposely film stuff that don't belong in videos just to see if they sneak through? No, he's he's really good. Because he okay. likes coming on these free trips. Because occasionally yeah. I'll have exactly. a full moon in my videos. Occasionally I'll have stuff that don't need to be in videos. I'm just going to leave what, huh? Yeah. No, he, so far. Normally it's even we'll film something and have a look, look at each other and be like, no, no thanks. <laughs> Kyle did an awesome job today, man. He did a great job. Compactor running over some trash. He was on it, man. The uh, the funniest thing I ever seen was Jerry. You know, Jerry, the old guy works mm -hmm. for me. I had the camera set up on time lapse one day and he went over and like damn near peed on the camera. <laughs> He comes back to me. He said, "Is that camera recording?" I said, "Yeah, it's recording. It's time lapse." And Jerry, he said, "You're probably gonna edit that, or you're gonna have a porno." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Oh, got it." Sure enough, I heard a time lapse. There's Jerry, just you know, letting it loose. Letting Good it thing loose. you edited that one out. <laughs> oh man, it's always crazy the people pick out this random stuff in the background, though. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Stuff that like you edited it but didn't pick up on it. Yeah, most I mean, frankly, we don't sit there and watch the whole entire video. Uh, yeah, and, it's you know. just absolutely, absolutely <laughs> guilty. <wild>. Or <laughs> watching it in double time. I, I'll get a like text. I'll get a text like after an hour. I have a good friend of mine that watches most of my stuff. Like thirty minutes in, he's like, "Uh, seventeen forty nine uh, issue." I'm just like, "What?" <laughs> what I got no data to look it up. I'm just like, I was like, "Do I need to take it down?" He's like. <laughs> it's close. <Maybe. laughs> the one is uh, we post the video. It's like one of the few videos I had that was sponsored by Milwaukee. It was a grease gun. So me and Matt are up there greasing the crap out of this dozer, not paying attention to anything. Well, Aaron walks like way off in the woods and takes a leak. 
people start commenting wanting to know if he's down there petting snakes. <laughs> I'm like, what in the hell? Are it took us like about? three days to figure out that he's pissing like 700 yards in the background. <laughs> I'm like, I, hey, there's several videos of mine like I'm when like, I was working with my uncle. Like, I'd be me. loading the truck and he just like takes off into the woods and like, then he comes trust back. Trust me, the GoPro does not have enough clarity to see anything he's doing me, now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to work. So, all right, we got quite, uh, Chris and I got quite the whirlwind trip going on here. Yeah. So, this is stop one. Yep. We're in uh, North Augusta, Georgia. You got it, man. No, I'm proud of South you. South Carolina. Oh, oh goodness Dang gracious, it. one part at a time. Back it up. You even agree you're over it now. Yeah. You're just like, I don't care. We're wherever we are right now. That's we're, uh, we'll we're, drop a pin. We're going yeah. to, where are we going to do on Carnesville? We're going to Carnesville. 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 Uh, a Hyundai trip, and then we're eventually going to end up in Florida. Yeah, we figured we'd take a detour that would make the Florida trip less lengthy. 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 And, we didn't uh, figure out that North and South thing, did we? we we're making a... Still <laughs> having trouble with that. Slow we, direction. we come down south and we're going back up north and then... Going south. Yeah, yeah. I'm going south again. We didn't look at that. We didn't. We didn't. Now. Well... We just, we just we figured didn't. Friday would be a good day yeah, for that. Yeah, I mean, we're traveling. It's just this or go home and move there. That ain't no fun. So, yeah. might as well drive and hang out with friends. Exactly. Well. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get into it. We got Mr. Ryan here. I think we need to go all the way back to, uh, what was it, a year ago, Vegas? Mm -hmm. Almost a year ago. Uh, we yeah, met where we met. Yeah. We met Mr. Ryan. Mm -hmm. We had a... We're going to cover that story a little bit? Sure. Yeah. So I mean, what are the odds? We're literally walking back through the hotel. You're not a gambler at all. I'm not a gambler I at all. I only gamble when I'm there. But I'm, a, I'm, like, I'm a gambler. But you, you convinced me. <laughs> you said you'd be a broke person yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you one of these you convinced me. You're like, I'm going to teach you how to play roulette. Because you said roulette's the only game you know how to play. I'm like, red, black, I'm not colorblind. Maybe I can pull this game Plus, off. And there's no north-south. And there's no north-south. It was, it, north, it, south, it was yeah. also before the show started, so it was actually affordable to play. Yeah, it right. wasn't you know, like. You didn't have to, you know. Black North and South yeah, for hundred bucks blah, blah, just blah, to blah. sit down and watch it go. <laughs> so Chris and I are walking through the casino. I think we were at the Westgates where we were at. Yep, yeah, we were, Westgate, stay, we were yeah. staying there with Hyundai, weren't we? Yep. And I thought I recognized this guy, but I wasn't for sure. Usually it's people recognizing us. I'm like, I think I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> so I'm like, Chris, let's play at this table. We sat down. Well, we probably played what three or four a rounds? A couple hours, yeah. Well, no, before you recognized this. Oh yeah, a couple of rounds. Yeah, we a few rounds, rounds and then we played a few rounds. And I'm like, like don't, 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 the general don't, conversation. Don't, 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 I thought for sure. I'm like, I'm gonna sit down, and if it's him, he'll recognize me. And then he didn't recognize me, and I'm like, okay, it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy, what do you do for a living? <laughs> You're like, oh, I got a landfill. We do a little bit of recycling there. I mean, just a little bit. Piddly stuff, nothing big. Just dabble. We just dabble. Yeah. Dabble a little bit here and this there. This and that. So, anyways, we got to talking, and sure enough, you finally did recognize us. Yeah. And uh, I think you, I don't know who you recognized first, recognized us. So you guys ended up playing like half the night. We Mike played a little while. Room. Mike yeah. lost a hundred bucks and it looked oh like somebody took his little puppy dog away. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say how yeah. much I lost. And he, yeah. he got his hundred bucks back. He's like, well, I'm done. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I? A, I'm a responsible gambler. <laughs> you are. Respect to you. You got your money back and you were gone. Uh, and Three I'm, hours later, I'm still down there with him. Yeah. <laughs> and the funny part was, we, we got to know we got our good steak. We was went, it? Yeah, and you're like, I ain't gonna stay long. I'm just gonna play a couple hands. And the next day, I'm like, how, how long were you down? Me and Ryan down there like two in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait. We spent a little bit of time. Yeah. Do I owe you any money, by the way? I don't know, but you opened your wallet up. Yeah, Bill. a couple I mean, of times. There was a couple there, dust yeah. come out of there. We were searching yeah, through that, but I'm like, yeah. well, Chris has got a new friend. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I made a buddy. I can't afford this relationship. <laughs> My ass is out. I'm out of here. <laughs> and for once, I was actually winning. I was like, yeah. yeah. I Good think I got here. back even, and I, I was did. gone. I I know one thing. After that night, I didn't want a damn thing. Yeah, yeah I was gone. I was out of there. We went, not to get too far off subject there, but my business partner back in the construction business, he was a huge numbers guy. He was convinced he could outsmart the system. He knew how to Jack. make it work. Yeah. And he had this system called No Man Left Behind. So if you bet $5 and you lose, the next time you bet $10. If you lose, you bet $20. If you lose, you bet $40. And he was really strict with his it budget. It just sounds like it hurts. It sounds yeah. like it. Yeah. So he was like, there, it's, it's impossible to lose. You, you, I don't think you're ever going to make money, but you always break even. So he's, he had a $400 gambling budget. We were in Vegas for 15 minutes, and he was out 400 bucks. <laughs> and we were sitting eating pizza, and I had to pay. <laughs> I'm like, how's that working? So how'd, that, work? how'd that plan work out? Like, like, Once you get to 100 bucks, that's 200 bucks like, the next go around. Yeah, really? Last maybe, long, maybe I should just start back over at $5. I'm like, why don't you just quit? Because we're here for four more days, and you ain't got no money. <laughs> So every time I go to Vegas, I was reminded of that story. Mm. So, but no, man, I don't. I'm boring. I don't gamble. I don't drink. Yeah. I mean, I own a business and I'm married. I guess that's gambling. <laughs> that's true. That is gambling. That's gambling on two different fronts because she owns half my fortune. That is true. <laughs> she reminds me of it. She reminds you of that. I told her I got a plan though. 
I said, if we're going to get divorced, six months before we do, I'm going to bankrupt myself. <laughs> we just quit with that. Oops. It's going to be a big auction there. Yeah, it's going to be a big we're auction. We're going to sell it all for a we'll, dollar. We'll split the debt. You get I don't half think the she's going to go for that plan. Uh, well, she might have a choice. Uh, <laughs> my wife. Would Chris just bought a whole company for two bucks. And then I got to sell it. Hey, Chris, you care to hold my stuff for a while. I'll be back. Uh, just pay shipping. <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be back. So, all right, this, this podcast is not about us. we got to get into Mr. Ryan over here. All right, let's do it. So, man. Chris and I... I don't even know where to start. We took a tour of your entire operation. Well, back, back to the Vegas. Let's back okay. up just yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. He's like, well, I got a little C&D landfill. <laughs> yeah. and we dabble. We can yeah. do a little bit of recycling. Like, oh, okay. Well, that'd be, you know, that's cool. And uh, it was probably a few months ago, like, every now and then, YouTube would just be like, a video pop up. I'm like, I know him. <laughs> I know that guy. I was like, and that's my buddy. And I'd comment on some of his videos. He'd be like, hey. We played uh, roulette together. I knew yeah, that. I was like, I was like, I don't know if you remember me, but like, I'm kind of a big deal. Had, I was like, oh, like crap. I probably owe, got, owe that guy money. <laughs> I need my money. Long story short, here we are. Here we are. So I, I messaged him. I was like, you know what? That'd be awesome to come down here on our trip right there. And so I kind of, uh, I kind of knew you indirectly through Hyundai. Through Hyundai, that's right. That's yeah. what we were doing together out in Vegas. We said, yeah. was it a panel we sat on together? Yeah, some kind of, some kind of panel we sat so on. So we a discussion got, group. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of knew who you were. Susan, which is our joint contact at Hyundai, had mentioned you a few times, and I booked you up a few times. I kind of had an idea of who you were and what was going on, but I had no idea. So you were stalking me. That's what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Okay. I had no idea what I was going to get in. Well, you can confused me because you had the the bomb shelter video right, yeah. on a totally different channel, channel yeah. than your main channel because right. you got two different channels yeah so I see because that video did really good for it you. did it did good and that's what I thought YouTube was easy since <laughs> <laughs> uh, learn learn differently but yeah, Susan, you know, hooked us up and yeah. had us go out there to do that, do that panel. Which was, which was actually pretty cool. You were a nervous wreck. I was, dude. He was over there shaking. This guy boots. saved me a couple of times because this lady. He's was like, "What are you going to say?" I'm like, "I'm just going to open my mouth and shit's going to come out and it's going to be fine." There's right? like a whole bunch of people out there, you know, sitting watching you, and that just that just makes me incredibly mm -hmm. nervous. nervous. So there. she's asking me questions. I was like, "Hey, uh, they're perfect. That, what do you think about this?" <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> every question, time I, I ask him a I question, just he just look at him. Public speaking is an art. It was absolutely well, it was like that to start yeah. with, even with this Volvo stuff. I was like, Mike, you take it off. I'll, we just feed off of that. I'll tell you yeah. what, though. I don't know who the other guy was. I, there was a third guy there with us. And I'm not saying any disrespect to him. He did a very, very good job as well, but you did better than he did. I appreciate and that, And both man. of you guys did better than I did. So. No. You, you, you talk a lot. And I do that, talk that a lot. helps the discussion that's, panel. That's a problem and I need to work too. on. <laughs> but in those situations, that's... Yeah, probably, that's what you want. It's probably the so you comment, me out a bunch. Isn't that the comments you get on your videos whenever I first showed up? That dude talks that a lot. That guy sure does talk a lot. Everybody's going everybody's to be like, your buddies, they sure do talk a lot. <laughs> Don't worry, they say the same thing about me. All right, I'm glad somebody else took my spot. That and Huff and Paint. <laughs> I haven't got that comment yet, but you hang around with Aaron long enough, I'm sure it's coming. It's, it's the Pepsi buzz there for you. It's the sugar. I know. Mm -hmm. This this Coke is going straight to my head. That's what it's it some is. serious, serious stuff. Well, so. you bet, you bet hey, I appreciate you saving me during that panel to discussion those couple of times too because I just went blank. She's like, hey, so how do you feel about they put this? You on, they put like, you on the spot. Like right now, I'm like, <laughs> you asked me the question, perfectly yeah. fine. Like on there, you're just like, uh, well, what's there in the headlights? Well, and, and multiple manufacturers do the same thing. We run into it with Volvo, but they try to prep you. Like they try to give us cue cards and stuff to read, and me and you're the same way. Like just let us go. Yeah, yeah. just let us. I'll talk. get so focused on trying to remember the question. Yeah, I didn't know right. Right. Yeah. I, I like my Volvo 220. Yeah. It is a good machine. Yeah. It's, it's to be scripted and, uh, like that. Is that not was cool. kind of the way this thing was. With Susan, which we love Susan to death, but she was wanting to make sure we were prepared. Right, yeah. And I'm like, just ask the question. I'm not trying. to. I think that put more pressure. on It me did. It does. It than does. Just a, a random question. Because the whole time you're like trying to remember, trying to remember what there. Question yeah. was or what I don't say yeah. good at remembering. Yeah. I don't yeah. either. No, I uh, on the spot. Yeah. Reading cue cards or trying to do a read or something like that. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it whatsoever. So, but anyways, that was a good time. We got to meet yeah. you in person. I started the whole conversation of, uh, we need to come down and see your operation. So I'm going to compare your operation to Logger Wade's a little bit. And Chris, jump in here and tell me if I'm wrong or not. It is impossible to show the scope of what is going on from a video. I literally just like binge watch his stuff to just kind of get like an understanding of like, oh, this is a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. It was just like figured like, I didn't figure all that stuff would be running at once. I figured, mm -hmm. oh, you know, maybe one month out of the year, you grind yeah, up yeah. some trees, and then, you know, you process some concrete, and you go there, and it's just like, 
C and D's full fledged operation people up there, mulch, yeah. concrete, the sand nonstop for yeah. all that. It's and a busy then, little site. It is. There's yeah, a lot going a lot on happening. And it's right. not a little sight. Well, before, yeah, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, I mean, I guess give us a little bit of history. I mean, this started off as a family business. Your dad started it? That's right. Yep. And the original business was mining sand, correct? Yep. yep. Yeah. So it, every business that we have now started from a literal hole in the ground, you know, where dad was mining a little Just bit of sand. Just trying to sell some dirt. Just <laughs> trying to sell some dirt. And then, um, you know, he was allowing some folks to come in and dump some lumber and shingles and you know a little bit of waste and that was back when you could do that yeah. without a permit but then of course DHEC comes along and says hey you know times are changing you got to have a permit where you can dump trash. You got a hole in the ground you just can't that's, that's dump right. crap back in. You got to have a permit. That's, that's yeah. not fair. Come on man. <laughs> they, they haven't seen farms have they? No. Yeah. Every, like every, like every, we never dig up trash out in the middle of the field. <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> never go behind a pond dam and dig. There will be nothing back there ever. But, but, in, but anyhow so DHEC was like hey you got to have a permit you know to be to do this legal. So dad was like well, give, me, give, me, give me my permit. <laughs> oh yeah that easy. That easy. Like, dad thought it would be easy but you know three years and like all of his money later he finally had a landfill permit and that's that's kind of how we got that's exactly how we got so whenever you say landfill permit i feel like we should specify yeah. you are c and d which is right. construction, construction debris and, and so this is construction and demolition, demolition. Yep, so you're not you're not bringing in household no. trash no no stinky trash this is just whatever scraps are left over from construction or if they're tearing down a building mm -hmm. That, right. that comes to us as well. Right, right, right. So basically you had this big hole in the ground yep. and now you have a way to get paid to fill it back up. That's right. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the but that business kind of took over the sand, took over prominence from the sand business. Right. So, you know, as we're excavating, you know, these holes to make room for the trash and we had these big old mountains of sand and the sand was in the way. So it's like, hey, what do we do? You know, we got we to kind of move these out of the way. <laughs> So that's when I started researching, you know, all right, what can we do with the sand to make it sellable to get it out of the way for the future? So what was your dad doing field? to wash sand way back in the day? So he, we were doing a little bit of dry screening, but we never washed. You never washed? No, we never washed. He so was you dry were, screening. So screening it and whatever it so was what, is what yeah, it, what it was. was. Yeah, it so was you're, what makes sand. your sand more valuable now is you are, what, DOT approved? That's right. Yep. Yeah, Meets your DOT spec. Yeah, right. So DOT you, spec for concrete sand so it can go to, you know, roadway mm -hmm. projects, bridges, parking decks. So it can whatever. go into engineered concrete That's for right. engineered structures. That's right. Which opens up a whole new a whole other world. whole new yeah. world. Yeah. So basically you were... Your one sale, you call them sales, got mm -hmm. filled up. So that means you dig another sale. Mm -hmm. So now you can't sell that sand as fast as you're digging these sales. So you got a mountain of sand. Yep. So that forces you into washing sand. Yep. So that forced us into the whole sand washing process. But I'm glad it did because you know it kind of took off after a little while. Uh, just some hard work and trying, you, you got to move some the, the dirt regardless. So you yeah. might as well might as well make some money. Make some money make off some of it. Make some money off of it. So uh, so you're pretty damn lucky because you're getting paid to excavate your landfill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really paid, paid, like, paid, like, paid to fill it back in. And I want to make this clear what too. What did you like, say? You're a gazillionaire? Is that what you <laughs> said long ago? <laughs> I wish. And I want to make this clear too. Like none of this stuff was planned out. Everything was just happening. It evolved off of your life. Happenstance and kind of all right. We were, had this hurdle. All right, let's figure out how, you know, how to get. We got a lot of concrete it. coming here. We're wasting. Yeah, what, we're like we're what, filling it up. Plus, we it probably beat the hell out of the compactor running over oh, chunks yeah. of concrete out there because I ran over a two by four and I could tell <laughs> which, which way it was yeah. facing up. Yeah. Yeah. There's zero <laughs> suspension. Yes. on them machine. Yeah, they will beat you to death. But um, so so yeah, that's how the sand business got started. So what's the timeline on this? Like when did your dad start? Uh, we're looking at about 24 years ago when the landfill was first permitted. So that now, would have been right at 2000? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, right at 99, 2000. And then when did you start there. washing sand? That was probably about 10 years ago. So 2014-ish? Yep, 2014, 2015. So yep. you've sold a lot of sand in we the last have, 10 we, years. We have moved move some sand. Moved yeah. the mountain literally, it sounds literally. like. It was yeah. a landmark. Well, he, dug, he dug a oh, hole yeah. and then, then moved the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed when we were driving by, somebody was bearing trash on the side of that. <laughs> yeah. 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 You should have called it in. You, you, should call. you need to call that in. I don't know what that guy's saying. <laughs> yeah, it was a landmark for a little while, man. That, that mountain was, was freaking huge. Really? Yeah. I yeah. wish we could have seen that. You said you could see it from the airport. Mm -hmm. When you took off in Augusta, you, that was a landmark, man. It just stuck out like a... Did you put like a big flag on top of it? 
You had to have a beacon there on top. I told Dad, I was like, because Dad kept wanting to build it higher. How'd you get it so high? We spiraled the road, and we were hauling with big haul trucks up to the very top. And he's like, let's see if we can go a little bit higher. Now we know what happened to the Terex. Yeah, that's why she's not running away. We killed her. We killed her. (laughs) If he trips up the mountain, back back up. There's no room to turn around. So I think what's um, really cool about your operation, though, is the way you've morphed it into dealing with what you have available to you. Yeah. So you found out a way to do something with the sand. Yep. Wash it, sell it, concrete sand, mortar sand. You got one hell of a sand operation. But then you go over to all these items that come into the landfill that people are paying to get rid of, and you're finding other uses for this stuff as well. Yeah, so I couldn't stand to see it just being buried, you know. We were putting all the stuff in the hole, covering it with dirt, and it was just so wasteful. And wood was a major component of the C&D coming in. So that's when we um, you're like, all right, what can we do with this material to turn a, turn a profit and get it out of, out of the hole? And so we started grinding wood, so we went and bought a rotor chopper grinder, so we grind up a, well, you guys saw it today, a bunch of wood that will either go into uh, landscape for like mulch mm-hmm. or we'll turn it into compost. And so that was the next big hurdle is figuring out, you know, how to move all the wood waste right. coming in. And so that's how the, the mulch uh, Then you go going. from the, the yeah, that operation into the crushing concrete and building cubes. But I don't want to skim over this because this chipping operation is no like small operation. Well, that's what people, you know, always, why don't you buy a grinder? They don't understand the millions of dollars of equipment it takes to set up. Yeah, Yeah, if you just have I can't justify that to go clear a little two acre lot. (coughs) So you have, you know, your expenses. And that's just leave it there. Then you got to haul it off. And then you got to haul it off. It's it's like I said, you handle the full cycle. It comes in in branches, logs, you turn it into a desirable Yeah, but his grinder's set, I mean, to your point of, yeah, why don't you get a mulcher? His grinder's set up in one location. One location. Mm -hmm. He's probably doing, what, 30, 40 truckloads a day? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to do what three or four yeah and then we're moving then we got two or three days moving it just don't make it's sense not we need to find it, a guy man. like him yeah. to haul it too yeah is what is what plus makes you're sense. having to charge them to do it because i mean yeah. you wouldn't make enough off of that no just so we have to charge on the front end and then you know try to get top dollar on the, on on the back, back end, end too, just, just to, to cover all your expenses. right and yeah. i don't want to get too far off in the weeds here you know one of the comments you get is you guys bury a lot of cardboard mm-hmm. and why oh my god why are you not recycling this yeah. cardboard bull Unfortunately, it's cheaper to bury it yep. than what it is to recycle it because there's no money into it. And I want to circle that back around to your chipping operation because I don't know, I'm just guessing here, but you probably had a million and a half, two million dollars of the equipment mm-hmm. chipping trees. Yeah. Hector Red Vulture was and over a million and yeah, the chipper. Just the chipper was Grinder. Yeah. Okay, so you got two million dollars. Two million, right? yes. Yeah, We're being there. conservative. Yeah. And you sell mulch for how much a yard? Uh, it's going probably on a on a wholesale somewhere around twenty dollars a but that's a lot of yard. damn yards of mulch. To a lot get back. of mulch that you got to. And leave, you ain't figuring in your labor, your fuel, oh, yeah. you know, insurance. breakdowns, mm-hmm. insurance, mm-hmm. all that good stuff. But it's, if it's all the stuff people don't think about, they're like, oh, "Well, and you made a, you got a, uh, let's say you paid or charged a hundred bucks to dump that. Well, you're selling it for a hundred bucks. You're making two hundred bucks right there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The other thing people don't think about is Not they even think pay for the teeth on the grinder. They think he's a gazillionaire because he's selling all this mulch and he's getting all the material for free. The only reason it makes it possible is you're getting the material for free. That's the only way. Otherwise, it's not profitable no, at all. It wouldn't work. It's it's just going to get buried. It's going to be done. Away. That's the same way with Wade and his mulch. I mean, it's a byproduct of the salt mill. Yeah. If he had to they go out, get rid of. It. If they had to go out and buy trees, it's never going to happen. Couldn't make it. It's never going to happen. So, I don't know. Did we did we cover the the business aspect of what the margins are small with big stakes equipment? They are. Yeah, and, and recycling in you make in, it on volume. You do. You yeah. got to volume is key. You know. Yeah, but it costs money to move volume. It does. Well, but that's the way you got to have the volume coming in. You yeah, know? It's, it's. But yeah, it's uh, the margins are thin. They are. It's not, and, and recycling it also helps in, with proper in a maintenance. Nutshell, like that. That, you know? if, yeah. If you but, destroy your equipment, you're going to blow through your profits. Yeah. That's where you've got an incredible team of guys that yeah, we saw. Oh, yeah. We're so lucky that to have the team. That they know they how to take care of stuff, team, yeah. and they know what you have invested in it, and they mm-hmm. care about it just as much as mm-hmm. you do. Yeah. That's almost the most important part of it all. Yeah. You no, can I, get the wood. You can buy the equipment. Those are the easy parts. I think it's key. I mean, if you ain't got good people right. taking care of your They're stuff. They're tearing all pieces. Mm-hmm. It don't matter nothing mm-hmm. if you got to buy $200,000. Especially with whatever. your operation, where there's not, it's not one big mining operation where one guy can kind of do the look down all over everything you got right. there's so, so many different yeah. guys that had to be specialized with so many yeah. different pieces of equipment yeah and right. looking over them and make sure they're taken care of but to take this even farther even from the wood chips you take the byproduct of the wood chips and that don't go to waste either because you then you turn that into a composting operation mm-hmm. yep 
So we, we really try to just, you know, make the most out of everything that comes through the gate there at that landfill, you know, no, just waste not, won't not, you know. So even like the byproduct, which I guess you're talking about, you know, when we were screening, yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. able to get the, the, the dust and the fines out, that goes back into the compost operation, you know, break it down, and then you got a soil amendment. So you've got another sellable, you know, material right here that's not being, not being wasted, not going back into the <laughs> landfill. Uh, the other thing is when these trucks come in, within reason, you guys sort through a bunch of this and try to find anything that is recyclable as far as copper, yeah. aluminum, yeah. steel, nails. You got magnets running up there. You got guys pulling and picking mm -hmm. stuff. And obviously it's profitable to do it. I think you pointed out that it may not be worth your time to pull that one piece of metal out. When we were down there, we were, you know, had everything sorted there. I was like, yeah. that's a lot of stuff that people literally paid to throw away. Oh, yeah. Right, but yeah. But then you're like, it, well, it's not worth, you know, two little sticks of copper pipe right. for them to sit that to the side and yes. throw it in the dumpster and go away. Yes. I, Especially I, if they're not going to, they're going to get two cents out of it. I'm 100% right. guilty when we've been tearing down houses before oh, or something yeah. like that. I like to like in between truckloads, I'll go out there and pick the copper pipe up. But if we're in a hurry, that 20 foot strand of copper wire is, it it is not I'm worth my time. Not Unfortunately, it. time is money at that yeah. point. You that spend more it. time sitting there with diesel fuel trying to pick that little piece of wire up than just to grab it. It's, worth it's Friday, it. I'm ready to go home. It's going in there and, and it's Whether your it's a then. good thing or a bad thing, the size of his operation, he's got guys standing around occasionally. Mm -hmm. They can put their time to use. Yeah. Right. And justify our time pulling that out. Well, so you have, like you say, the guy that directs all the trucks. When there's not a truck coming, he's he's. There ain't no need to stand around and look that, at it that, when you he, you got two hands to pick stuff up. Yeah, yeah. So we really he's never saw it. anybody stagnant, which yeah. is no. incredible to have so much options. We'll yeah. just call it options at your plant, and to be run so efficient. Yeah. Nobody came up to you and said, "Hey, what do you think about this? What do you want or, me to do? What do you want me right. to do?" You rolled up, it was done. Yeah. It's they, the, everybody one of the most is, efficient things I've seen. You know, we, and we've, again, just so thankful to have good people that they care about what they're doing. So they're not going to, you know, waste time standing right. around. They know what needs to be done and they're going to they're gonna get it done. Yeah. Uh, I guess the other thing, the other big thing is the concrete recycling. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you got two different options for it. Mm -hmm. So this is where the full circle aggregate comes, comes into, into play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so L literally full circle. You sell them yeah. sand. Sell you them sell sand. sand. They turn it into play. concrete. They Maybe. bring you back the leftover concrete to pour blocks. Yeah. And you, you resell it again. And then you resell something <laughs> that they it. already made for you. That's right. And then if they don't have room for the forms, they put it into a big concrete crusher and they sell it for yeah, aggregate. We're going to sell it one way or the other. So yeah, I never thought. You know, I named it full circle. I didn't see that. You didn't that, see the circle. I didn't circle? see that whole loop. I mean, I knew. All the businesses helped each other. You should have just, yeah. just went with them and acted like a genius. I yeah, mean, I you're a gazillionaire. Yeah, yeah, let me back up. So I meant to do that. <laughs> and and then, then one night at 2 a.m., he's like, I need a landscape yard. Yeah. That's, that's, that's stuff. right, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's cool how each business helps the other. You know, they all work together. And it truly is full circle like these guys, yeah. guys saw today. Each one helps the other. And, just trying to be sustainable there on that one little site. And, and uh, what is that that little site we were little on? Little site. <laughs> what is it, 100 acres probably? Uh, footprint probably 85 acres of active stuff happening. Yeah, so on that, you got the CMB field. Mm -hmm. You got a couple of things you don't even talk about on film. Um, you got the mulch. Yep. You got the concrete. You got the washing plant. Mm -hmm. uh, what else am I missing? You got the mining operation because you're digging sand. you're digging all the time. New pit. I mean, it's, and everybody's like, nobody's in anybody's way. Yeah. Like, everybody's got their room to do what they need to do. And there's and no wasted space out there either. They, no. You didn't have one area where like, oh, well, this is where we just put stuff over here just if we don't use it anymore. Right. Yeah. Everything was methodically We utilized placed. every almost square inch of that whole mm -hmm. that whole site. Because as new businesses popped up, we're like, okay, well, we got to find a well, somewhere, another corner. We got to find somewhere we to put, put this over here. We'll move over a little but bit. We don't want to have to move our wash plant in six months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not doing that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's neat. It's almost like a puzzle too because it's it, the whole site is evolving. You know, yeah. the the we're digging cells to make room for the waste. The waste is coming in and pushing this operation over here. Eventually, it's going to be a full full cycle of waste go around. That, there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, and then everything's yeah. going to get on top of the mountain. Right. That way, they can see you grind trees yeah. on top of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're shredding trees on the side of the top of the mountain over here. Of the highway. It is one thing we missed. You said you got a hundred foot vertical extension. Uh, expansion, yeah. Expansion. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we can go up 100 feet. with the waste. But 
Yeah, it's so going to be up there There's going to be, a, the, uh, we're going to have to have a curve in the road there. Yeah. <laughs> be going up 100 feet and just sliding down. <laughs> Hopefully, though, my goal, even though we have, you know, approximately 70-something years of life left in the landfill, you know, I really want to ramp up recycling efforts as... And that would definitely as, extend there, that. Yeah, extend Been that. Because it's, that it's out. you know, that's family land. I live on that land. I don't want to fill it up. And right. that's the reason we built all these businesses is to try to recycle as well, much material as possible to, you know, not only just give... You know, more length to the time of the business, but um, you know, just save save space and do the right thing. Well, and unfortunately, the most profitable thing you do, from what I've been, what I've gathered, is the is the landfill. It is, yeah. which is kind of sad. It's in sad in some ways. Yeah, and like I told you earlier, I think I'm probably one of the only landfill owners that'll say I hate landfills. Like, <laughs> well, it's you know, like you it's said stupid. to start. It's like the easiest way to make money is you have a hole. They yeah. dump it. Two swipes, it's pushed into the hole, and you got to worry if about I was, it. If I was a smarter, You actually waste, or I ain't saying waste, but you invest more money into separating it out. And not to mention the headache of yeah. all the equipment and all the additional employees, you know, but... Uh, equipment if I was in a, the worst conditions, too, yeah. by the way. <laughs> if I was a smart businessman, put everything in the hole, cover it with dirt, get your money, carry on, walk away. That's what happens when you care. Yeah, <laughs> it cost you. Yeah, you get you, you get the the added bonus of stress and debt. Yeah. And, but but you know when uh, we're passionate about it, and I know it's the right thing to right, do. Right, right. And um, I think that's why we've been successful is because uh, I truly believe in everybody that works there. It, it is the right thing to do. There's no negative <clears throat> on recycling right. other than the stress and the other stuff that we. So that is one. As long as you don't spend ten cents to make nine cents. That's right. <laughs> 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 We both agree we're not very good at math, but that yeah. ain't gonna work out. Yeah, they ain't gonna work. <laughs> not wrong. That ain't gonna work. So that is one of three sites or three operations. Yeah. So everything we just discussed is one operation. Yeah, that's home base, so to speak. And you're second generation in that? Mm-hmm. We yep. should give a shout out to your dad because he's yep. what, 81 years old? 81 years old. And he's still out there kicking the hornet's Kick, nest? Kicking around, man. <laughs> still riding around, checking on everybody. He leads and the keeping, Monday morning pep yeah, talk. And keeping, <laughs> keeping everybody straight. Man. You you yeah. made me you made me proud of him whenever you said he's HR's nightmare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I love him to death, but sometimes. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, now he, he taught me a lot, man. You know, hard work, yeah. and just good ethics, and, and doing good business. So everything that we have and that I have, you know, I owe to that. that and then your me. sister was in the business with you for a while. That's right. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, ran she... the whole office side, which is not my forte. Yeah. So props to her. For You're like, oh, handle I got to be yeah, outside. Yeah, handle that. I'm just walking out. Go. The paperwork good. is not my strong side. <laughs> I'm gonna go made, outside. Made you guys a good team though. Yeah, because I'm sure she probably didn't want to be out there doing what you were doing. Yeah, so we we both worked real well <coughs> together and had had our own. I was outside and she was inside. inside. Well, so let's uh, let's jump off that side. What are we going to now? The nursery. Yep. So next we go down to the nursery. So my plant, my passion has always been plants. Like I love gardening. Love Aren't you like a self-proclaimed stuff. plant nerd or something? Yeah, yeah. I'm a <laughs> self-proclaimed plant nerd, man. That, you know, Dad always had a huge garden growing up. And I used to hate to work in it. Like, really? I hated it, man. Worse yeah. than running the loader there with oh, the yeah, air conditioning? Yeah, 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 much worse. Because all my buddies were fishing and playing. Oh, yeah. I'm down there picking weeds or picking <laughs> corn or or something. So I hated it. But, the farm hand. But then in the wintertime when mom would go down to the freezer, go down to the basement and get, you know, fresh or, you know, vegetables that she put yeah, away. the can. And make that vegetable soup during the wintertime. I began to appreciate what gardening could give to you. And I just fell in love with it. And so I was trying to find a way in all the businesses to bring something I was passionate about into that into the whole realm of things, and that's how uh, Grassroots Yard Supply was. So Grassroots. So basically, what's the best way to describe it? Is a landscape supply nursery, house, supply nursery, house. yeah, nursery. garden center, supply yard. I mean, you got everything from pet birds to waterfalls <laughs> yeah, to. I want to know pet birds, you know. Yeah, Should we well, talk about Larry? Larry. Larry. We talk about Larry. Seventy-three <laughs> people lost ligaments because of Larry. <laughs> So yeah, we walk back. Uh, Larry likes fingers. Yeah, Larry. <laughs> so Larry's a McCall parrot that I've raised ever since he was a little. So yeah. like, do you just wake up one day and think, "I'm gonna get a damn parrot"? I don't know like, what happened. How does this thought process? This would be great in the garden. I, so, so the gar- the nursery I worked at 25 years ago, uh, the owner. You know, he loved plants, obviously, mm-hmm. but he also had birds. And I was like, man, this is so cool. Combine this together. <laughs> and uh, yeah, combine them two things together, and uh, I got my first bird, and then. Uh, Got another bird. Then I built that aviary I was telling you about. Yeah. Stupidly made a YouTube video about it. And people <laughs> were like, hey, will you take my bird? I don't want it anymore. You take it. So 
I got inundated with birds, and I was like, well, I'll just build a jungle greenhouse. <laughs> well, why I'm not? Just, well, you know? really wasn't far from that. <laughs> that's, what you can, that's what you can do when you're a kazillionaire. <laughs> <laughs> so built the jungle greenhouse there at, at the nursery, and so, yeah, we got all the pet birds out there. But it's cool because people love to come see that, especially yeah. the kids. Mm-hmm. So what is it, I mean, I'm going to get way off. Like, what is it? What does it take to take care of a bird? Like, I need attention like a dog? Uh, yeah, but see, that's the other good thing is I don't have to give them all the attention because we have customers coming. But Larry all eats day people's long. fingers. <laughs> that was like a joke. And the Larry, first thing I do was, really oh funny. my God. <laughs> yeah. But now I want to build that place as like a destination, you know, where yeah. people just want to come and, and see what we've got. You notice they put Larry in the far back so you had to walk through <laughs> yeah. the whole yeah. entire <laughs> store to see everything. <laughs> Got him. Oh, Larry. <laughs> Larry but, is quite the character. But yeah. even just how methodically laid out your nursery was is almost genius well, when you really think about I it. I wish I could take credit for it, but, man, it's just like everything else that, that I've done. It's just like, all right, well, we need to move. We, we need somewhere to put this. Mm-hmm. All right, let's just go over. And, and stuff just kind of worked, worked, worked out. Yeah. yeah. Necessity. But, I mean, to bring stuff full circle here again. <laughs> I mean, full circle. You're, your grassroots is selling the mulch you make over at the C and D landfill. Yeah, held by the blocks that he also held by made. the blocks <laughs> that come in from the waste <laughs> concrete. Right. You said the wood inside the buildings from pine logs that were hauled came, in. Came you into the landfill, had them sawn up, and and did the interior. So, question: Do you pay for anything in life? I try not. I try not to. Try. How big is your collection of junk behind your house? <laughs> yeah. oh, it's pretty bad. It's pretty damn bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. You got to stay away from the mountain, don't <clears> you? I do. I've cleaned out my garage, there's no telling how many times, because I find junk. Did you, you, know, did you have I, to pay oh, to dump, or did you I'm just gonna, bypass I'm the trail? <laughs> I bypass, but don't tell my dad. Uh, but yeah, I find all it this. It come from here, it's coming money. back. <laughs> you know, you find all this usable stuff in the trash, and it's like, man, I'm gonna, I could use that yeah. one day. And then, so I built another shed, and then I built another shed. I got a barn. I'm like, oh man, I got all this crap, and then I have to load it up. Take it back to the landfill. And then start all it. And somebody else is picking up. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. believe somebody yeah. threw this yeah, away. Exactly. <laughs> oh, but, but man, fun, Aaron man. would be the worst guy up there. That guy, he is, don't throw away. Is he a pack rat? Oh, my God. I'm kind of the same way until, like, I run out of room, and then it's yeah. like, throw it purge, away. Yeah, if I trip over it, like, a couple too. times, just like, throw it all <laughs> away. Screw it. Time and then purge, a year yeah. later, I'm like, what did I do with that? Normally, it takes us just like one good rain day, and we're in the shop. We're like, Why don't we have all of this? Just yeah. get rid of it. Then it we're looking happens. for it in a week. It happens. The problem with it is, if you can organize it and know where it's at, it's, it's worth great. keeping. But if you gotta go hunt for it, sometimes it's cheaper just to go buy yeah, it and be yeah. done. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's a uh, it's a mess. So. And I'm not an organized person. Uh, that's a bad recipe. It sucks. Right there. Hey, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. So no, the uh, the grassroots is what about ten minutes from the landfill? Yeah. And uh, it's not a small, I mean, it's all on one site, and obviously it's a smaller footprint, but that's not a small operation either. No, it isn't. So that's a six-acre site right there with the retail store and the mulch yard and the, you know, our sand products yeah. and the tree and shrub nursery and two greenhouses. It, it, it's grown into a busy little site itself, yeah. especially with spring. Right oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, hopefully, be nuts. More and more people are around there, so they'll be yeah. wandering over it. Yeah, it's growing. Yeah, I got a housing development going right across the street, mm-hmm. so you can sell them all kinds of stuff. You over just there. drive the loader over there and dump it. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I've face. driven down that neighborhood with the loader and <laughs> delivered rock. Yeah. I ain't putting it in a trailer when it's going <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll wait the delivery fee. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the plants, like, that's just the knowledge you have to know about the, the rules and regulations of the landfill. All the stuff you had to learn with the mulch, all the stuff you had to learn with the concrete, all the stuff you had to learn with the sand washing, yeah. and now all the stuff you're learning with selling plants at a retail. Yeah. But see, that's what I love about it. Like, I, I've just always learned to just love, you know, yeah, love, love to learn challenge. something new, you know? And until just, that uh, inspector comes until out. Until the there. inspector comes <laughs> then I don't, when that, I don't when care. That, when that clipboard comes yeah. out, is when you just shut up. I don't want to yeah, learn anything he's going to teach me. Because <laughs> uh, it's going to cost money. But. Yeah. But no, that's, you know, Dad always taught me, he's like, hey, if you don't learn at least one thing new every day, you've wasted that a day. day. Yeah. yeah. And so I've always, just always loved, loved learning and a challenge and trying to do something different, you know, and just be resourceful. Well, yeah. I've learned a month worth of stuff today, so I can do it. You can take the next month I can off. space off for the rest we of the have, month. We haven't even covered the next place yet. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, I know. So then you decided, then you got, oh, how do you want to say this? You ran your competition out of town and bought yeah, his place? Pretty much did, yeah. 
But they asked for it. Big you know, they, <laughs> yeah, they, they, swung, they swung first. So they knock on the door like, hey, Ryan, uh, do you care to really like drop your price and screw me so you can buy me? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it quite went. They go like that? It, it never went, went that like easy? That, but, uh, but they asked for it, you know, and so, you know, we... We, we, need, so we, need, we need to back up a little yeah. bit. This is in the sand business. That's right. So whenever you started washing and selling sand, there was one other local place that was doing mm-hmm. something similar. They were a true sand mind. That's right. I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. Uh, you Exclusive tried to, sand mind. Yeah. You tried to play nice with them for a while. Mm-hmm. And that, that didn't work. That didn't work. So then, so then you know, mm-hmm. hey. You said I can put methods. you out of business yeah. because I... Have supplemental income a little bit for getting this sand yeah. out. So yeah. I got something to fill my hole back in. Yeah. So these guys were calling the safety people on me just relentlessly because we were new kids on the block. We were new. We were competition, and so they they kept playing dirty, kept playing dirty, and so I up until that point, you know, I hadn't went after any other Customer. other customers. You know, I was playing playing nice, but they kept on. So gloves came off and. Uh, <laughs> you know, we did. Then we did go after some of their customers. We had quality product, and we could sell it cheaper. Mm-hmm. And sorry, but that's just uh, that's the way. Because business is business. Because at that point, the sand was a waste product from the landfill. Mm-hmm. So you were looking for it was a, a way byproduct. To get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I just needed to move it. He was in the way. Right. Couldn't. Which I wish that was still the problem. <laughs> 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 that that has since changed. But nonetheless, we're able to buy out our, our competition. And uh, that's a big dredge operation. Yeah, and that, I mean, that may have one of the coolest names out of all of them. Yeah, atomic sand is what we. And then what what's, we this, named what's it. the? I forgot the sl- nuclear, nuclear nuclear grade sand. Yeah, nuclear grade Because we sell it to uh, Plant Vogel. In, yeah. In, in in Georgia, and they're building a new nuclear mm-hmm. reactor, and it has to go through the testing. It's just insane, as you can imagine. You don't really want a nuclear you would reactor so. failing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because that, you mix some of that red dirt yeah, in there with yeah, it. I can see the headline in 10 years. <laughs> nuclear reactor meltdown due to sand used during construction. Yeah, that would be, that would be to blame Atomic for sand Atomic sand. Nuclear meltdown. Ryan's right. going to be like, it's all right, I'm out of sand anyway. Uh, probably won't be able to find Ryan if that one of course. I'm, I'm out of there. It'll be a yeah. derby in the end of our yeah. Who's this guy down here? Wait, can I work at the market? There's no sand know? down here, right? Our sand looks completely different back home. Does it? <laughs> yeah, completely so, different. But uh, so yeah, been running <clears throat> atomic sand for about five five years now. But um, yeah, it's a neat site. But it's yeah, a, it's, it's a, a neat it's site. It's a bear. It's a bear. It's and a neat we, site, but it comes it, with a lot of challenges. Yeah, and it came with a tremendous set of challenges because mm-hmm. that place was in shambles. You know, when we took it over, so a lot of work went into it, getting it into compliance for the safety. You know, for the safety guidelines, and then just that site gives up nothing easy. Yeah, <laughs> it, you have to work for every. Plus, you're dredging it. You're not. Dredging, uh, you're not, not dry mining. digging it. So you yeah. you literally have a suction dredge out in the middle of this lake. Yeah, sucking sucking sand off the bottom and of a pumping of a it blue a quarter lake of a mile. and pumping it to the to the plants. So. And sand does nothing but grind everything down all it's, day long. It's kind of abrasive. Very. Yeah, especially when you're mixing it in water yeah. and pumping it. At, you know. 6,000 gallons a minute. It, it, it's, it's a 14 inch suction dredge yeah. with a 12 inch 12 out. inch feed line going quarter mile to the And the whole the plant, plant relies on that dredge. Yeah, pretty much. Solely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's got, dredge, it's got that a dredge. dredge goes down, his gazillionaire bank account starts dwindling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plummet. <laughs> Oof. Uh, but, but it's a pretty sight, you know, and it's just, it's a lot of fun out there. We got a great group, group of guys out there I was gonna say, the same man. thing applies there. You got an unbelievable group of guys. Yeah. How long had your dredge master been there? Your dredge runner? Uh, what did he say today? He'd, he'd been had, there since he was like twenty-two. He'd been dredging for fifty something years. Yeah, it's maybe incredible. not that one particular mine site, but yeah, he's been dredging for a long, long time. That's what he likes. Yep. Sit, sit out there and be in his own. And peace and quiet. And I don't blame him. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of envious sometimes. He yeah. just gets to. Sit out there and He's run that dredge. Does. Yeah, he knows his stuff, man. I was telling him that the crazy part is whenever you're dredging, you have no like visual of what you're accomplishing. Mm-mm. Oh no, you like you're can't digging see. a hole. You're digging you a work hole all week, you and you might it. only move forward what yeah. twenty feet. Yeah, <laughs> or just you know at the very moment when you're on the excavator, you can see that sand in, yeah. in the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. looking at all day waves. Long. Well, it's just charging a quarter mile away. You can't see anything other than. I mean, he won't ever get anywhere if he just keeps pushing it down the hill in front of him. So I mean. Yeah. Well, I tell him to stop there for a minute. <laughs> Let me make progress. <laughs> Can we please move the cables? <laughs> Give so me a push. <laughs> so if all of this is not enough, somewhere in the midst of all this, you're like, I'll start a YouTube channel. Yeah, because why not, you know? <laughs> That's the same way you can do all yeah, this stuff. Yeah. You're like, well, heck, not many people get well, to see if this. Nobody should run out of content. It's this guy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, what yeah. I like about you is you're willing to share and learn people. 
yeah. you go share and people learn about kind of what you do. And like you go to a lot of sites and they're just like, oh God, no, you can't pull your camera out here. You're yeah. going to give some top yeah. secret stuff away. Yeah. I'm like, if you really want to learn, you can figure you can, it out you can there. But I mean, it's, there's probably not a whole lot of people ready to just jump in there and start well, a C&D landfill and all the stuff if that they, you have going Even on if there. they copied everything he did, the permits and the capital he has to do what he does is not easily obtainable by yeah, most you're people. You're just going to start up overnight. Yeah, there's, I mean, it took you, what, 24 years to get yeah, to the operation. Get where, get and somebody started yeah. from scratch tomorrow is going to take him a long time to get to yeah. where he's at. He's got a 24-year head start on him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not something you just go jump in and With say, the hey, customers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But no, I, I've, I've enjoyed doing YouTube, man. So what I made like you, sharing uh, that stuff. What made you get started on YouTube? Like, what was the catalyst to pick so, up the camera and so, start posting? So it was actually, I, Hyundai came down, and they were like, hey, you're, you got all this weird, crazy stuff going on, man. You should start a YouTube channel. So back up there a little bit. Where yep. did So your your relationship with Hyundai started whenever you bought Atomic Sand? Yep, and they had some Hyundai equipment, some old, and I needed to upgrade, so I traded in some of that. Hyundai equipment for newer mm -hmm. Hyundai equipment. I was like, wow, this is you know a pretty cool company. This right. is, you know, I like this equipment, and uh, I guess that kind of caught their attention. They're like, hey, who's this guy buying? Well, you're all this also Hyundai kind of stuff? impressed with how well the old stuff held up. Yeah, and that's a question we get a lot: is what's it going to be like in 25, 30 hours, or right. 20, 15, 20 thousand hours, however right. it is? And you've had some of that stuff. I have, and it, and that was the testament to the longevity of the equipment right, right there is when I bought that mine site, they had some super old equipment and it was still, it was still going strong. Oh, yeah. you know, I did have to upgrade some. Right, right. But nonetheless, I was Everything's like, Everything's right. got a life expectancy. Sure. Oh, absolutely. I don't care what yellow iron it is, it's yeah. got a, an expectancy. But that was impressive and, uh, you know, then, you know, I said, well, I'm just gonna keep going with this, with these guys. So I bought a few more pieces of a Hyundai equipment and been real impressed with it. So I guess that kind of got their attention maybe and, they were like, hey, who, also, is, who is this guy? What are you doing? You're also, what, two hours from their headquarters yeah, here? Yeah, not far. So they reached out to him and they're like, hey, we want you to start a YouTube channel. I was like, I ain't doing that crap. Man. <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to be on camera. They came down from Atlanta like three or four times. Really? And I kept turning them down. I was like, so I they got know. you to do it. Yeah. I, no. I was like, I don't know. How we, I mean, that, just think about that situation because, you know, most people are seeking them out. Mm -hmm. And Hyundai's like, hey, you need yeah. to start one. You need to start one. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, obviously they've seen what we've seen of the craziness he's got going on there. Yeah, it's good It's good content, you know, because it's, it's unusual activity and especially right. all of yeah. such a small, mm -hmm. a small footprint. Well, but, and it allows a testament to their equipment. You're putting it in one of the worst applications oh, yeah. you could ever yeah. put it's some. They have any all, iron. all the equipment has a hard life. You know, if it can make it out there, then it's, it's going to make it. Gonna make it. Yeah. But that's how I got started. And uh, finally, I, I was like, all right, I'll do it. And uh, so I started my little channel. And it's just so did you start slowly. both channels at the same time? Or you got two channels? No, I just started uh, Mr. Dig first. Okay. Yeah. And that's when I did the bunker video because I built a bunker in my backyard and it went viral like. Pretty quick, and I was like, "This is easy, man. <laughs> Why are these people, this you know, complaining about you having you know trouble getting views on YouTube? That's all you gotta do. Is upload. Just, just just gotta be, click that. You just, just gotta make the video. Just gotta be a prepper. Is all you gotta be. Yeah, and then and then I started doing you know regular content, and it was like not doing anything. Yeah, and, and that's when I started learning. You know, okay, YouTube is uh, it, it's got its its yeah. own Quirks. way of thinking. Oh, for sure. You know, it's every video is not just gonna go. Psh, you know, mm -hmm. so viral. So just so this, over the past couple of years, it's been. This was slow, what slow three going. or four years ago. You would have yeah. started somewhere yeah, in there. Four years. Because mm -hmm. I know uh, that's about the same time I got started with. I must, no, I guess I've been with Hyundai five years. So, yeah. I remember I remember them conversations with Hyundai about this guy down there that has this cool operation yeah. and. I'm gonna be honest on my end. I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he dabbles in so a like, little. Mike, yeah. you should really give him a shout out. I'm like, all right. So I remember checking out your stuff a few times, and I yeah. think I seen the viral video. I'm like, yeah. well, he don't need my damn help. He's getting more views than I am. <laughs> and, and then, then <laughs> he's I, good. Give me a shout out. I forgot to go back and check on him though. <laughs> yeah. And then, as a you know, if I didn't have enough going on, I was like, well, I love gardening too. So I'm gonna make a YouTube channel about gardening. Mm -hmm. So I started grassroots gardening with just plant content and stuff. So. You know, I just kind of jump back and forth right. uh, between the two. Well, we were talking about a couple of different things. One thing that's cool about YouTube, especially like in the plant world and stuff, is being able to compare notes. Mm -hmm. Like, 
you know, the way people do it here versus there and different ideas and thought oh, processes. Yeah. Dude, and I've learned so much off YouTube, even not, you know, maybe not just with mining or mm -hmm. plants, but just, hell, if I'm, I was changing a fuel filter on my Polaris Razor the other day, I, yeah. like, I don't know how to do this. You, <laughs> you do, do, do I do that oh, all okay. Well, you guys are going to think it. I'm crazy. I've watched enough YouTube videos. I'm pretty sure I can fly a plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, 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 I'm good. good. You go ahead and try it yes. first. Yeah. We'll just let us know. Let know how like, that works. Trust me, I watch legit pilots. Yeah. We need to see you land. I didn't say nothing about landing. Pull up! Yeah, see, pull up! I didn't say nothing about landing. It is the landing. <laughs> Kyle, is the gear down? Well, let me ask you this. Does everything have to be in one piece of water? <laughs> we made it. That's all it matters. <laughs> So no, YouTube is a uh, YouTube is a cool space. We talk about this all the time. One of the best things YouTube does is align like-minded people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell, some of my best friends I've met now has come off from yeah. YouTube, and you, yeah, you're the, I think you're the same way. Oh, he said I'm a good friend. <laughs> you're okay. Oh, no. so, <laughs> yes, we <laughs> got we, we yeah. We can't. I said you've met some of your best friends on oh, YouTube. Oh, okay. It, it, I'm going to the ringers here. It's right true, Leo, man. This podcast says this. You're the <laughs> You set yourself up. Yeah, I, I was going to go over there and take me a little nappy nap. <laughs> <laughs> like, Are you sure you don't want to miss out on this? Who invited you anyway? Oh, man. No, YouTube's, YouTube's definitely a cool space. I always, if somebody wants to get started on YouTube, I encourage them. I mean, mm -hmm. it, don't, it don't cost. If you got a phone and an email address, you can, you can post it. a video. Yeah, and like, do it, it don't cost nothing to try. And there's a niche for every there is. person out there. Like, yeah. No matter what your thing is, somebody wants to look mm -hmm. at your content. Yeah. yeah, and then of course you know you always got the the naysayers and the commenters and the jealous people and yeah. it just comes with it. It just comes with it. I mean, I know I'm sure you're saying, well, you know, certain guys that just get so bent out of shape about that. I'm like, what do you care? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Get all bent. I'm just like, it's like I don't know how you do this. I was like, I just like skim right over. All that. <laughs> well, ninety percent of the time, it's like feelings. there's one like low ball comment and then there's a hundred great comments and yeah. if you let yeah. that boy hey, get you down i mean and people they, like will reply back to them yeah. you should just leave yeah them. they'll jump on them yeah really but majority of the comments though are all positive yeah. you know, oh absolutely and, and people just kind of encourage you and, and and you know push you on so yeah it's um it's definitely uh it's i mean it's it's provided me a hell of a lot of opportunities i can't yeah. complain i've met a hell of a lot of, i mean we all of us right here. i got to meet you guys yeah, exactly. you know, we got to meet you, you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome like i mean no you guys are like my idol it's a win 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 for so, everybody and i was like I gotta well, he's he's the og he's been yeah. doing it for a long, long time you've been this yeah. now? it's 2005 <clears throat> or six well, well you're YouTube almost actually started 20 years about a year before then i think you are i had dial the og i had dial up internet when i started yeah, I'm, it take uh, about four hours to upload about a three minute video. Wow. I'm in my, so in November I started my fifth year. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it seems like it's so been longer than that. When your channel first started, like when did you see that first, you know, push or that first spike of growth? Because I hadn't seen it up until just like, what, two months ago when I you think, gave me a, a shout out I on think your everybody's channel. different. Mine, I started in November and my channel took off in March. Yeah. Um, you can't and, really judge mine because I started when it was so early. Yeah, like, you, I mean, have you oh, just seen gradual, God. steady? Yeah, but mine I like, didn't like right. increase <clears throat> like the last three or four years. Like really did something. I mean, it was always just slow and steady. Right. I mean, the first yeah. ten years it was probably just like the little line would just be like. I mean, your little. persistence paid off. You this know, is very oh, that's what yeah. it takes. I mean, yeah, that's, that's what I tell everybody. Like, whenever I started my channel, I'm like, I am going to do this for a year, no matter what. Because I feel like I need to do it for a year to get in the groove of it, see if it's worth my time. And my goal was is to get monetized and at least justify my time in a year. And then I would decide whether I wanted to keep going. Obviously, the year came and gone, and it was worth my time. I enjoyed it, and I, I kept going. But, you know, I look at uh, Neil Cove, Dig Drive D, Dig Drive D Y I. Did I get that right? I don't know. Uh, Neil, Neil's a YouTuber. is north of us. He's been doing this for three or four years longer than me. And... Uh, he, whenever I started, he had 32,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. I passed him real quick. I think I had 100,000, and he may have been around like 45,000. Well, last year, he had a video hit, and he's passed me up now. He's like at 250. Really? Wow. He's so the dude it, that built the pond in the yes. backyard? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he was at Louisville with us. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that. I'm like, yeah. He's got a cool channel. Neil does cool. it a phenomenal, and I always wondered, like, Neil does a phenomenal job editing his videos. They're very well put together. Neil's a very likable guy. I'm like, I always feel bad for him. I'm like, man, he does such a good job, and here I am over there just throwing shit together. I mean, that's just, I ain't saying that's what I do, but I mean, like, 
Yeah. I film what I do every day. You get yeah. what I get. I mean, I'll be the first it is what it is. It, it is, is what Bill's it is. Bill's videos are way better quality than mine they are ever going to be. And he didn't. And then all of a sudden, one day the switch flipped, and he got the traction and took off. So that took him seven years. You know what yeah. I mean? And, and well, that's how YouTube works. It's like something it'll just pick off a video, and then just mine didn't. I mean, mine was doing well, but when that excavator recovery video yeah. I did, I mean, it helped so much. Yeah. Yeah. That freaking yeah, like mine was the well. the robbery series. Yeah. You know that yeah. that video was taking off and had some good momentum, and then you gave me a shout out on one of your lives, and then that kind of just pushed it a little bit more, yeah. and then it just. Yeah, it is, it is a moment. Off, but I think we try you to, we put try your to, time in. We try to keep it real. I mean, I don't stage stuff just right. to like make a video out of it. I don't go out there and you know tear up stuff. We are just, not actors. It, no, mm -mm. And, we are not actors. And that's what people don't understand. It's like we're tired of you doing this. So like, we've got to do what we have to, well, to work with. I was like, yeah. you know, these are the jobs that are presented to us. Right. This is what we do. But I think this. And if place, we want for these jobs, you wouldn't have no videos right. at right. all. So it ain't like I can just go out here and film something because if I ain't got nothing to do, <laughs> there ain't nothing to film. It's, I have to work to make videos. Yeah, I, think this, uh, I think this statement is true for all three of us. The job and the customer comes first, the video comes second or third or fourth. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. So you yeah. got to be thankful you get what video you do because I don't get to pick and choose what job I do that day. I got to pick and choose what I mean, the phone rang that day. Or that, ring, no, yeah. that job's on the schedule. Yeah, because when that phone don't ring for two months, you're like, mm. yeah. I don't really care what you want to see that day. I know what I got to <laughs> we do. Got to, yeah. yeah, and we're going to and, and we're, we're going to film, film it. it. Exactly. Yeah. We're actually going to film me sitting at the house going, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do today? <laughs> what are we going to do today? I'm going to sweep the floor again. <laughs> but I think They're really going to come in there and that one's going to go viral. <laughs> from, from all the YouTubers I've talked to, though, is, you know, you got to be dedicated and you got to put your, you got to put some time in, into it and be patient. Consistency pays off. Yeah. I think that's been a big one for you. Um, you know, just being, cons I ain't saying you got to post every day, but just posting consistently. Right. Um, especially whenever you're small, I think being active in the comments helps a lot mm -hmm. where people know you're interacting with them. Yeah. Uh, I think you told me this, and I know Wade told me this for a fact. He said, you're, you you know, it's a roller coaster. Your channel's doing really good, oh, and, and it's going to kind of dip a little bit. And and it's going to do. I mean, and then you have some people that just hit instant success, and it's yeah. just like, phew. But, yeah. I mean, that's a one-thousandth of a percent. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, everybody looks at that like, oh, I can do it. And they post 10 videos and it didn't do well. And they're like, what's, well, what's funny is, that. is people that meet us, like, swear up and down, we have this big elaborate camera crew following us around. Like, we're filming, like, Gold Rush or <laughs> Axeman or whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, I mean, I was like, I don't, I don't have time for that. I was no, like, I'm I not, mean, if I, if I had come down to that, I'd be done with it. I was yeah, like, we're, we're oh, walking, yeah. we're walking around with a $300 GoPro and just doing this podcast. I about <laughs> threw every wireless mic I had out the damn window because. <laughs> that is got, true. We yeah. ain't got time to mess with that shit. Yeah. Like we got a job to do. Yeah. Um, now there is simple. there is YouTubers that YouTube full time. Absolutely. Yes. They got time to do that, but that's not us. You yeah. know what I mean? We're just. Mm -hmm. My theory is, whenever I film, is I'm going to work. Come hang out with me. Mm -hmm. And I do the yeah, best. That's the way I've always done it. Like, yeah. And I think you're, that's you're what everybody appreciates me. about that. Is right. it's honest. It's real life. Hey, this. It might is, not this be is the most. What, definitely might not be the most exciting no, thing but, video out there, but it's. But like, that's right. what this dude's doing this, today. This is what my this channel. This is how you feed your family. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's you know. Well, it's what my channel specializes in. It's yeah. like you know everybody else right. can go and you, you, you know, know blow up stuff, smash cars, do whatever they want to. I was like, well, well, yeah, that's all fun and games and everything, but like. I don't pay my salary right. or, you know, you know the other, money for me. The other thing I really appreciate about YouTube is, uh, and I mentioned this in a video the other day, but it's a documentary about, you know, what we do mm -hmm. in our daily lives. And, like, you know, we work in pretty dangerous fields, you know. Stuff happens. Oh, absolutely. You know? and, You're around and, all that stuff. It's one yeah, around and, slip. And so it's free storage, you know, for these memories that, you know, folks can watch. So like my son, you know, he could go watch. Oh, what, what did my dad really do? Yeah, right. You know, and and it's free storage that actually makes you. Yeah, you know, that was the uh, that was the hundred percent the catalyst that that got me to do it. So Wade, my neighbor, longer Wade, he tried to get. I've told this story before, but he tried to get me into YouTube for years. I didn't have time, and then through the changing around some businesses, and I'm like, I'll give it a try. But you know, my dad got killed. Uh, I was equipment operator his whole life. And he got killed about the same time I was starting to learn from him and operate. Mm -hmm. I got pictures of him operating equipment, but I got mm -hmm. no video of it. Mm -hmm. Like I hear all these stories and all these cool things he did in these coal mines. I got no nothing. You're right, yeah. You know, my grandpa's dad, my great grandpa, he was in the coal mine business. He got killed in the coal mine. They don't even have pictures of him. Yeah. Right. You know, so documenting your life, sometimes these videos are as much for me and my family as what they are for anybody else. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Because I'm fortunate I, enough to still have my dad alive, but I would have loved to have seen you know, what he did. Oh, oh that's my grandfather stuff. Ago. When he started yeah. up, before I even yeah. old enough to deal with yeah. what was going on, all those cranes and everything. Yeah, delicious. cool like, stuff. Just cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's... Um, and I've even, I mean, I've been doing it, what I just say, five years, and I've even catched myself every once in a while going back and like, oh, man, I didn't remember that job. Yeah. Or, oh, that was pretty cool we did that. And I'm like, this is going to be really cool in another five or ten I years. I get back to like, when I started, I was like, who is this kid? <laughs> <laughs> young and, Where, where's the rest of me at? Who is that young man? He doesn't <laughs> sound right. <laughs> where's the rest of me at? Yeah. No, I, it's fun, though, man. It, it's, it's, it's cool. Like you said, it's, I mean, it's, it, it is free stories, but it's out there for everybody to share. But it's. Yeah. It's uh, it's cool, man. I, I maybe I shouldn't wish my life away, but I do look forward to one day sitting down with my grandkids and hopefully watching some of these videos that I did. Watch this years farm ago. I bought. Or <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> this was like 20 years ago. We just bought this farm. Yeah. Now we own the whole road. <laughs> now I'm a good gillionaire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Might the whole town, a, and I'm might open me up a gravel right pit there. now. <laughs> <laughs> Piss it away. <laughs> go, go up there to longer ways and chip a few trees. Yeah. <laughs> Just cobbles. <laughs> Just because I can. So. Well, Ryan, man, I cannot thank you enough for having us down. Hey, man, I appreciate uh, you guys. I didn't, know, I didn't know what the hell we were going to get into today, and I knew it was going to be an impressive operation, but it still blew my mind. I'm not going to lie. I went on YouTube, and I was looking, and I saw about half of what we saw today. I was yeah. like, I was. It was so, a fun day, man. I can't you know. thank you guys enough for coming down, man. It's been awesome hanging out with you, and I've just had a free so I'll So uh, I'll get your stuff linked down below, both of your channels. Uh, I did. I did a video of his operation. I think you did multiple videos. Yeah, I will probably, I will have a bunch. Yeah, probably so like I think my video is going to be kind of an overview of everything. And then if you guys want more details, we'll, I'll link Chris's channel yeah. down below as well into uh, all the details. But uh, yeah, man, keep up the good work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, man. Get over there and check keep out. Keep it on. Get over there and check out his channel <laughs> and the whole nine yards. So we're going to wrap this up so we need some pizza. That's yeah. right. Let's get some pizza. <laughs> Let's do it. Appreciate it's it, guys. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right.